Hello everyone, in this short tutorial I'd like to um, speak about that um, shower effect which I um, have done a while ago. So um, the client had a, a collection of showers so he wanted to see um, it in action uh, on those uh, magazines uh, with with actually uh, water coming out of it and he uh, was asking me if I can um, simulate it in a uh, in shorter period of time create a simulation of uh, droplets of water coming out of a shower and I was thinking about um, how can be done procedurally without add, uh, adding any simulation to it but uh, at the same time having uh, um, some nice effect of water drops So let me show you how uh, I did it. Uh, so here I have uh, a model of the shower. And I excluded shapes that I needed in this case. Those uh, water places as I would call um, water dots maybe um, okay then I assemble it and I create a pack primitives and then I delete it just uh, leaving the points um, another thing was uh, like to have normals so I could have uh, them uh, coming a correct way uh, equally and um, um, let me let me show you actually how it was made so I took the shower itself uh, having normals and when I place it so I see the lines coming out very randomly which is an inaccurate uh, representation of, uh, of, of of the water trails. So um, what I did, I actually had this flat structure, and uh, I transform it and um, subtract those points and use it as a normal and it, uh, if I have a look on the normals now uh, the also convenient way of uh, for me uh, especially uh, when, whenever I work uh, what I like about this method uh, I can control actually the direction of my uh, normals this way see and um, it's not very complicated it's absolutely not complicated setup you simply use the same geometry just to drive your normals so let me okay uh, this way I'm having my my lines so, uh, but what I did first I actually added some uh, some normals to it and uh, a ramp core uh, 
So here are my trails and then I sc scatter points onto these lines. Now those lines are too perfect and I need to add some jittering. And whenever I have a jittering, I have uh, some um, the jitter value is too much for 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 these start starting places. So I wanted them just to straight uh, to 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 be straight uh, in the beginning, but during uh, during the travel they would uh, just uh, a little bit spread apart. This way I use uh, my ramp actually to. Uh, control this spreading. So as you see here I have some irregular shape while going up up where I see them coming out straight. And it's a very nice way actually to control my jitter if I for example add some bigger value. Here I'm Then uh, I'm adding a pscale attribute, and I'm also since it's been static, but sometimes you you want to have a motion blur. Uh, you can do it in a post work like in Photoshop, or I converted my normals um, to velocity channel, and I have a multiplier which allows me to uh, control the amount of blur that you'd like to use later on. So then I copy spheres, so you see they have different shapes, and convert them to VDB and back to polygons. And so this way I have um, like um, connected geometry more uh, look like uh, water droplets okay I repeated the same action but uh, this time I wanted uh, some, some smaller parts just to uh, and with a, with a higher jitter value just to uh, to, to be placed um, sideways of those bigger trails uh, to create that um, drooping illusion you see so what so it's not simply straight um, water blobs but it has some debris around it and then I transfer my um, uh, velocity onto onto this geometry and uh, I simply split it into parts just to render them um, individual So as you see, it's not very complicated setup, very easy one, but uh, and yet very effective. I think those um, fast results. And uh, if speaking about the motion blur, here I, I did a rough render, and for example, we can see a little motion blur. For example, we just zero this out. 
so if we if I don't want any motion blur Let's say I send very high value. And also I can control it separately. So maybe for example for those big blobs I can add some uh, like higher values of motion blur and for the smaller one just just a little touch Yeah, this way you can achieve some interesting result, uh, which maybe uh, is what you're looking for. And also to add uh, on top of this, if you'd like to to see some animation of um, uh, what we're running uh, on those curves, you can actually, let's say, having it here, and I can use the custom made tool which actually can be downloaded uh, on my boosty page so this way you may add some water running animation Um, so this is all that I want to say in this uh, short lesson and I hope you liked it and uh, it was useful. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and I see you in the next lessons. Goodbye.